Hey guys, uh, Brian Thompson here with Lifetime Radon Solutions Inc. Um, I wanted to do a quick video about the AirCheck um, do-it-yourself at-home test kits. These are really great. Um, they're by AirCheck. You can check them out. Um, they're www.radon.com. Um, they've also got really good instructions in here, but just seeing something hands-on definitely helps our customers out. And so we wanted to put this quick video together for you. So if you go ahead and open it up, I apologize for the noise here, um, but as you unpackage it, um, there's one main cover and then the, your directions will be in there. And then the test kit itself is actually in another cellophane to just protect the integrity of the charcoal that's in there for the radon test kit. And once you get that out, you can see that this test kit is really just an envelope. Um, you can see it's uh, postmarked. Already the postage is prepaid. We paid for that for our customers. Um, and the um, address is already on there. Uh, so really when you're all done, you literally just drop this in the mailbox and it's gonna get um, sent right to the lab for you. So as soon as you open it up, the first thing you wanna do is take a look at the back. And uh, you can actually zoom in on this if you can, Andrew, just to kinda show what it looks like quick. But you'll see here you've got like your name, address, um, and your contact information and property information. And then you also have like your start time, rather your start date, your start time, um, your finish date and finish time um, over here. And then there's some questions for you to answer. So what you're gonna wanna do right away is just go ahead and fill out like your name, your address and all of that information. And then you're gonna circle the day that you started on and you're gonna circle the time that you're starting it at. So right now it's about noon. I would just circle uh, 12 p.m. right on here. And, uh, and then I'd go ahead and answer these questions. Once you've done that, this is kind of the tricky part. You're gonna kind of squeeze the test kit like this and you're gonna see that there's this cardboard piece in here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is fold this cardboard piece right into the test kit to hold it open. The tricky part is, if you do this, you can see air really can't get in there uh, in this manner, so you wanna kinda of push down that piece there in the middle so that you can allow airflow um, into that uh, charcoal packet that's inside of there so that can absorb the radon and ultimately bring it back to the lab. You're gonna to wanna to set this down in your basement within what they call the breathing zone. The EPA defines the breathing zone as about three, four feet up to about six, six and a half feet in the air. And so you can hang this anywhere in your basement. Um, typically, you're gonna wanna do it in a finished area by this hook right here. So typically, if you have a finished area in your basement, you're gonna wanna hang it in the finished area. If you don't have a finished area, that's okay. Just hang it kind of in the middle of the room away from your appliances and things like that. Um, you don't wanna put it next to the sump crock, you might get a false positive. There's actually some very good instructions in here as well. And um, we have some other instructions as well on you know testing protocol and where to place the test. But as long as you put it in that breathing height where you're gonna spend the majority of your time, that's a really good place. Uh, one thing that's just kind of a little tip on my end because I've done these before as well, is when you set it, set an alarm on your phone just to remind you to take the test kit down because you'll forget about it in your basement for three or four days. Um, and this is a, a three to seven day test. So we found that about four days or so is gonna be that perfect time frame to set it. So set an alarm on your phone for four days, hang it down there. And then when you're done, you simply just pull this cardboard out. That's really important. You wanna throw this out. Um, and you'll see inside of the test packet here, there's a double-sided sticky tape, and you just peel that off, seal it up just like that, and um, you wanna make sure that you, of course, um, circle the end date and end time, and then you just drop it in the mailbox, and the test results will get sent to you, usually in about a week or so. Um, a couple other tips uh, with this is Sometimes you can get what's called like an inconclusive result and that generally happens when it's in the mail for too long. So what we usually tell our customers is try to set this test on like a Thursday or a Friday, let it run over the weekend and then mail it out on a Monday. So that way you're, you know that the lab is gonna get that during um, you know, normal 
um, hours of operation and that it's not just going to be sitting in a mailbox somewhere over the weekend, um, you know, and then that radon is constantly decaying inside of there. So the test results aren't as good um, if it sits too long. So you want to make sure you get it to the lab as quickly as possible. And by starting it on a Thursday and Friday and mailing it out on a Monday or Tuesday um, is going to be your best case scenario. Um, really the only other thing that I can think of um, in regard to these radon tests is just make sure that you keep all your doors and windows closed. Um, they call it closed house conditions. Um, a lot of people want to turn off their dehumidifier. You don't really want to run like a wood burning stove if you have anything like that. Um, but outside of that, just normal, uh, you know, in and out of your house is totally fine. Uh, letting the dog out, you know, things like that are totally fine. Just don't leave those doors open for any prolonged period of time. But uh, we found that these tests are very accurate. Uh, for our customers, we take care of the postage. We take care of all the lab fees. Everything is included. Um, and uh, yeah, you simply just drop it in the mailbox and you'll get your results pretty quick. I hope that was informative. I hope it kind of explained how to fill everything out. Um, if you still have questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can reach us at 262-955-5701, or you can uh, email us at scheduling at lifetimeradon.com, um, or just take a look at this packet right here, whatever works best for you. Thank you guys so much. Take care.